What? You're living in a rural area? Then, it must be difficult for you too. This is what I hear the most often whenever I tell people that I am from rural area. I grow up in an isolated hill where culture is different. It differs in a way that I'm not in the social scene. That the life here is much more better and simple. Me and my neighbors definitely know each other well. It is simply because we live in a close-knit community. We are mostly well acquainted with everyone living in our area. Me, my parents, aunts, uncles, cousins, and my grandparents have grown up in this town. People here are the kindest, warmest, and very hospitable. Kids here are fond of playing anything. They are adorable in a way that little things make them happy. I have no idea why some people tend to avoid me just because I don't live the way they are. Yes, we are used in living far away from digital life, but that doesn't mean that we have no knowledge of unusing them. I am residing in an area far away from pollution, engines and factories, far away from noises, crimes and buildings. Hills are enchanting, the air is fresh as well. Mornings and evenings are filled with birds chirping. We live in simplicity surrounded by trees. Life in the rural area was very simple and reflected in the way of living, dressing, food habits, shelter, and manners. Life in the city is very complex and complicated. But this is not the basis of judgment. Discrimination against people living on hills must be stopped. We share the same nation. Culture is the only aspect of our lives that divides us. Hills and mountains contain a great deal in culture diversity. What has been less explored is the interrelationship between mountains, hills, and biological diversity. Yes, we live in a different way, but that doesn't mean that we cannot cope up with urban people's way of living. The place where we grow or our home to a diverse range of population. Isolation created by rugged topography has helped in maintaining our distinct culture, which have remained relatively intact. Unfortunately, the stability of mountain populations is at present threatened by migration, subdivisions, and construction. These activities have ruined our home. They destroy the trees in which it plays a vital role in our ecosystem. They shaped the plants peacefully growing. We preserve our culture for the next generation. Culture marks differences among groups, but within groups, culture is inherent. Confederation a unique string that connects and unites individuals. I strongly believe that our cultural practices should polish our behavior and encourage us to lead a disciplined and healthy lifestyle. A practice that evokes strength and wisdom in each one of us to contribute humanity, the language we should speak. The cultural diversity that we see in the mountains reflects the airy life forms we see in this region. We don't want to be all the same, but we don't want to understand each other. This is what we strive for, a unity in diversity.